Good morning, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you from Bozeman, Montana. Today is Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. And I'm just going to check my laptop to see if how we're doing here. If I can find myself. There it is. Okay, good. That was fast today. Alrighty, now I can, oh, uh, let's see once if I can see any comments. I'm just a, about a minute early. Uh, let's see once here. So I'm just going to move that over a little bit so I can see things. And uh, it's a pretty beautiful day here in Bozeman, Montana. And it is about 48 degrees. It's not very warm. Uh, I think it was like 42 this morning. And it's supposed to get up to 62, but it's sort of cold these few mornings. And our landscapers are not, they're done with the heavy machinery outside like last week. And this week they are, today they, they showed up with a load of plants. So they're gonna start planting shrubs. And hopefully maybe by next week, they, they will have a little grass, I don't know. Hey Stacy, good to see you from Southern Florida. I bet it's, a, it's pretty hot there. Um, Remember, I always, I always ask you to, I always hope that you will subscribe, follow me, ring the bell if you are on YouTube later on. I put all of my videos on YouTube and I also have all the directions all typed up and I'll have those um, below too. Good morning, Janet, where, where are you coming from? Uh, tell us what state you're coming from when you chime in this morning, that would be great. I'm just a, a minute or two early, so we'll just, it's hot and humid in Florida, yes, I bet. Um, I know we have a house in Southern Florida also, and but we were back in Montana during the, the, the spring and the summer. Of course, we'll go to Montana again a little bit in the fall and then next winter. So anyway, um, thumbs up, remember, thumbs up hearts, subscribe and share the video. Share it with your friends, I always appreciate that. Hey, Cindy, good to see you this morning. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks, Munch, good to see you this morning. Our house is coming together. It's um, pretty livable. I had a class. I had a stamping bingo on Saturday. I'm using a walker because my leg is not any better. I did have a, a electromagnetic imaging done of my nerves in my leg, and there's a problem with the peroneal head or the fibula head and the, the nerve conduction isn't good. I have to have a MRI next. So, hey, Lisa, good to see you this morning. Cindy's in Col Arveda, Colorado. I bet it's nice there, isn't it, Cindy? Um, Lisa's coming to us from Bozeman, Montana. Anyway, uh, today, one of our cards, our fun fold, was inspired by a card I received from Lisa. So I'll show you that in a little bit. So... Um, let's, oh, hey, Mary Ellen, good to see you from Montana. We have lots of specials going on. Um, we have the, we have three specials. Hey, Carla from Wisconsin. We have three specials going on right now. And starting tomorrow, we're going to have a fourth. Tomorrow, June, Wednesday, June 21st, is a free shipping day. Free shipping with a $75 order or more. Plus, I'll throw in other thank you gifts also. So, I my list is growing. I, I like to, whenever they, Stamping Up doesn't do free shipping very often, just a few times a year. So, I was really surprised yesterday when they told us this was happening on Wednesday. I like to really stock up on my cardstock. Hey, Kathy, good to see you from Colorado. How are you feeling are you at your sister's house now? And how are you doing with your new kidney? Tell us about that. Um, so anyway, we have, tomorrow's a big day. So free shipping. And um, also I have a class in the morning. I have a cookies, cards, and coffee. We have 15% off on designer series paper. That is a great, and we the paper we're going to be using today is on sale. It's called Lay Shops, it's right here. You're going to fall in love with it if you haven't already. Oh my goodness, it's very fun. We also have a uh, demonstrators get to pre-order the online exclusives. These will be coming out in 
Jan uh, July, not January, July 6th. And oh my goodness, they're quite out. Next week, I will show you those as we get closer to July. And then our, our big special for the month of June, a big push is to the Starter Kit Plus. The Starter Kit is always a great deal. If you're not a demonstrator, wouldn't you like to get a 20% off a discount every time you shop? Um, if you would, and if your list is long, for $99, you can be, you can join the Stamping Up family, my team, called Simply Creative Girls. So for $99, you get to choose $155 worth of products, anything you want. Um, hey, Mary, Ellen, you started with a small list and it keeps getting bigger. Going to have to send it to your daughters in California. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, anyway, if your list is long, Starter Kit is a great deal. You get $155 worth of products that you choose. You get a free shipping, free paper pumpkin, free catalogs, all of that. And then later when you become, um, get a demonstrator number, then you get a 20% discount. So those are the specials and don't forget about free shipping tomorrow. So that's, I'm gonna just put that aside. I'll sort of remind people at the end again, and we're gonna get going here. Let me see once, let's see, let's see what Kathy said. Um, Kathy, who had her kidney transplant, I'm great, and I'm at my sister's house. So I think Kathy's going to be there for a month before she comes back to Missouri, Montana. Shirley, good to see you this morning. Carla from Wisconsin, all of those. Anyway, we're gonna turn the camera down. We have two fun cards, they're easy. They're, there's a lot, little bit of fussy cutting, but it's not hard. Okay, let's close your eyes for a second. If you get dizzy, I'm gonna put the camera going down. And ladies, I hope that we will have good reception. Today, I've had the internet people here three times now. And uh, so hopefully three, the third time is a charm. And you know, we live right next to a mountain. So our some of the reception is not, even though we've got, they've worked on my internet to boost everything up a little bit. It's always, it's not always, it's a little harder living next to a mountain. A mountain is in our backyard, literally. Okay, these three cards I just put together, they're simple, but they're pretty. They are from the this month's paper pumpkin. And I just got this yesterday, actually. It went to our old house. Um, I usually get about 10 each month, and it makes nine cards altogether. I've only made three, and it comes with all of these things. It's a uh, you can also get a free paper pumpkin subscription tomorrow during free shipping, which is sort of neat. You get a, a, a ink block, this one, a spot, that's a navy, navy. You get stamps, you can see mine are sort of stained already. And you get glue dots and you get, these are little uh, foam, um, what, what, they're little, they're uh, strips, that's what they are. Hey, Teresa, good to see you. Where are you watching from? Anyway, that's um, Paper Pumpkin. I do have some. If you are local, they would be, you know, they'd be $22 if you're shipping. Or they'd be $22 plus $10 for, for, to, for me to ship these kits. Once the kits have been released, you can't order them online. You can only start signing up now for the next month. So, um Anyway, these are, it's just a beautiful set. It coordinates with our um, beautiful blues paper. What, I can't think of what it's called right now, but you see this paper? And isn't that a pretty card? Uh, I like to only do like three of the main ones that they stamping up shows us. And then I like to cut them apart and do other things. But I just li literally had about 40 minutes to, to put everything, to stamp and get everything together. So just wanted to show you those and we're going to get started. So we're going to be working with this stamp set called Let's Go Shopping. And Let's Go Shopping guys are right here. There's my June host code. I always appreciate when you order and use the host code. Um, the DSP is called Lay Shops, and it's French, of course. Um, it's like a Parisian setting. And I wasn't sure when I first saw this in the catalog. 
It's got great colors, lots of colors, lots of pretty colors. Um, it has some Calypso corals, so I sort of wore, decided to wear the Calypso coral this morning. Um, it is on page, it's a suite. It's on page 30 and 31. The whole suite, you get, you get the stamps, the dies, the DSP, and these sequins, and that's all only $66.50. Now, tomorrow, it might be better to just order the paper separately since you're getting a 15% discount. And you could get the bundled price. The bundle of the dies and stamps is $47.50. So page 30 and 31, it's just a fun set. Some really good examples in the catalog. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I like it a whole lot more than I ever... I thought I was maybe going to like it, but I didn't know I was going to just fall in love with it. So if you are someone who, as a child, played with paper dolls, that's really aging me, um, because if you're, you're, most of you probably aren't as old as I am, but if you were back in the 50s, we used to play with paper dolls. We'd cut them apart, and, and that's what this paper is sort of like. It's just, you have all these houses and all these objects. Some things can be cut out with the dies, like the little greenery and the flowers and things like that. It's just a great set. Okay, here's what we're gonna make. Um, we are, go I was inspired. My friend Lisa sent me a thank you card and, or she and her friend sent me this card. Actually, we made this card in a class about two years ago. And I thought, oh, we haven't done one of those for a long time. So we're going to do this. I've done, you've seen me do it with a skinnier front, but I like this wider one. So this was some beautiful paper from a couple of years ago. This is the card we're going to make today. We're gonna to make this happy birthday card and it stands up like this. And then there's space in the back to write just like that. So, and it uses a lot of DSP, which is what's on special. So here we go, we're gonna put this together. We're gonna get out our stamping, uh, simply stamping, simply scoring board or whatever I think it's called. It's one of the best pieces of equipment that you could possibly own. And hey, Pamela Dennis, good to see you this morning, Sandy. I can't read comments and talk and stamp very well, but I do go back and I'm so happy to have so many of you watching this morning. Okay, we're gonna use some Misty Moonlight. And we're going to bring in our, this looks a little messy. I don't know. I probably should have rewritten it. That one's already done. But we're going to bring in, um, this, this design does take a little bit more paper. You can't get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. It is nine and a fourth by five and a half. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there for you. Uh, let me see if I can straighten this. It'll drive us everyone crazy otherwise, probably. Okay. Okay, Diane, good to see you. Diana. Okay, nine and a fourth by five and a half. And then we're going to score it four places. One and a half. I'm just going to set this right there. One and a half, two and three fourths, six and a half, and seven and three fourths. Don't worry about um, writing this down because there's the one and a half, two and three fourths, six and a half, and seven and three fourths. Now, of course, what you could do is quite often I just turn it around and do one side so I don't have to do all of that. You can do this on your, I would do that especially if I'm using my, my trimmer. So this is, and that is just how easy it is. And then we're going to score it and we're going to accordion fold it like that. It's almost, oops, I did it the wrong way. There we go. There we go, just like that. And we'll take this and get it out of the way. And this is going to be our base. I love easy fun folds. This is a, a very easy fun fold, I think. One that you can do a lot with. Let's get our bone folder, the handiest little tool ever. And you really want to give it a good crease because you want it to stand up nicely. Okay, just like that. 
Give it a good, nice crease. There we are. And I should have, sorry, I didn't write that with magic marker or Sharpie or something. There is our, our base. Just as easy as that. Hey, Karen, good to see you. Where are you watching from? And, okay, let's bring in our other pieces. Um, I've got all kinds of things here. Let me see where my little dish is. I'm going to get this. This is a little topper, a stamping up topper. I'm just going to dump those things out. And um, I like to use them. So you can, you can die cut these little pieces. And um, we're going to, we're going to set that aside so I don't lose those. We'll see. So there are all kinds of, we're going to be using, actually I'm using this, um, this card tomorrow in my class, my cookies, cards, and coffee class. And, um, Okay, let's let's get our pieces out. I've already these houses are really easy to fussy cut. You just take um so the one I did was this is the house that I did. This the shop, it looks like an arts and crafts store, like or something. There's some, you know, paint brushes up there and or maybe they teach classes or something in there. I chose Misty Moonlight because of the awning and the shutters, and then this color is sort of a calypso coral. And it has paper, it has uh, pumpkin pie in it too. But anyway, I like this stripe. It's really hard to cut it up because there are so many, I don't know how many houses there are. But when you're fussy cutting, remember, you want to leave a little bit of a white edge. And you just go around it like this, leaving that white edge. It's a pretty easy thing to cut out. So this looks like it could be maybe an apartment building or a some other, maybe a store downstairs with apartments upstairs. I won't finish cutting all of it, but you get the gist. It's not hard to fussy cut. You can sit in front of the TV and do that real easily. And, okay, let's see once here now. We're going to bring in our other pieces. We've got, um, so we'll put our base right there. We've got a, a white uh, deckle edged rectangle. That's going to go on there. And then this is our front. This paper is so pretty. It's got little tiny um, houses on the back and buildings. And I did, I did make an envelope using that. I covered it like that. And, uh, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate when you girls share and thumbs up and hearts and all those things. That, but the sharing really helps me grow my business, my, my followers. So anyway, that's the envelope. Cute, isn't it? Don't you think? But this is the side, I love this sort of a, this, and this center front piece is five and a fourth by three and a half. So five and a fourth by three and a half. And we're going to put that right there. Then we have two pieces of DSP. These are for the sides, one and a fourth by five and a fourth. They're gonna go on each side. So, and then I have a piece, if you want to take a screenshot, this might be a good time to do that. If you want to, you can, I can zoom in a little bit and maybe you can take a screenshot, but I will have all the measurements below. It takes me about a half hour after I finish the video. And then our back is just going to be a rectangle. Now this is a stitched rectangle from, that's retired. And I rarely will use retired things when I'm teaching a class but I had so many of these because I loved that set and I didn't think it would ever retire. So that's gonna go on the back for writing. I'm gonna put that there right away. So it's out of my way. And then we're going to assemble the card and that would be a place that you could stamp. Where am I put? There's my, my stamping seal. And we do have a lot of new rectangle things. The deco edges are really nice and then we have some other rectangles that are in sets, but that works out really nice for just writing a short message. Okay, so let's put our pieces together. We're gonna to put our front piece right on here. We'll put a little adhesive on that, and we'll just put this right. Oh, I can't see it very well. I can't see those creases very well. I'm, just, I'm gonna to have to turn my light. There you go. So it's not a real bright day here today. Now I probably lost my, oh, I lost my light became unplugged. I'm uh, moving, <laughs> things are moving around here. Um, dear, there we go. I'm just gonna have to scoot this in a little bit. 
Sorry about that. Everything is getting in the way here. We're getting really crooked. And we're gonna, we're gonna, that's all on in place now. And we're going to glue our side pieces. This is the other side. This is why you can see it. I was really, oh, I was so reluctant. I'm always so reluctant to cut up the pieces, but that's just what you have to do. I have several, I've used two total packages already of this paper, and I'm gonna order more tomorrow when it's free shipping. My free shipping list is growing by leaps and bounds. And I do want these two to match up. Do you see how the stripes match? I planned that as I cut it. So we're gonna put these right on the sides, equally spacing those and equally spacing, just making sure that our top two, everything lines up like that. Isn't that a sort of, sort of I think it's a fun design. I was, I was thankful when I opened Lisa's present and, and card and, and uh, I thought, oh, I'm gonna make, I haven't made one of those for a long time. Okay, so next we're going to, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna put this house, this white piece on here like this. We're gonna leave space for, at the bottom for our sentiment. So we're gonna put this up it's fairly, fairly high. I want that background just to be, it's just sort of a, it's gonna be there just almost to give us a little um, color. And put this on like that. Okay, now we can do some stamping and we're going to bring in our, our little uh, piercing mat and we're going to stamp. I did a happy birthday on the other one and I think I'm going to do um, happy birthday again just because I need a lot of birthday cards. So we're going to um, do, it's a really pretty happy birthday. We're going to do this. There we go, it's really juicy. Ooh. This is a Misty Moonlight's a new ink pad. They're very juicy. I'm just gonna set that aside for a moment because I don't wanna to touch that. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put this, we're gonna put a chair, I'm gonna put a little, I don't have a, a sentiment for the back, but I'm gonna put these chairs there like that. That gives it a nice little look, I think. And we'll close that up. Let's see, I think that's it for the stamping. And let's see what's here. Now we're going to add some, you wanna use a piercing mat whenever you use a photopolymer stamp, so. Now we're going to put our, our, our label in there, on there. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. It's going to go right there. And now we're going to build our scene. Oh, good, Kathy, you still have dialysis. I didn't know that. Yay. Hey, Andrea, good to see you watching today. And now we're going to cut out a few little pieces. I'm going to bring in my, um, I'm going to set the card aside for a moment. We're going to bring in my little, uh, my little mini, my little mini, mini cut and emboss machine. Um, I think I'll put it like this so you can maybe see a little bit better. This is the little tiny one that folds up so neatly. We're going to just, um, I wonder, this is perfect for this. We have, we're gonna cut both of those, this little chalkboard and that pot of greenery. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pop those up. There's also, I'm gonna put this just like that. I like to use, um, what's it called? Post-it note tape is what I like. So I've switched to this recently and oh, do I love it. Um, I get it on Amazon. You can probably get it in an office store too. I'm not sure. I have not been out shopping for a long time. I just order things because I have such, I've been having such a hard time walking. Anyway, I'm going to sort of stagger my plates. I am going to turn it now because I can't get this. There we go. And I'll run it through like that. 
take our sandwich out and then we can fold it up. Isn't that the cutest little machine? I think for $35, it is a sweet one. Um, and something you can keep right on your desk. And it has the plates, it has different plates for embossing. And then also for um, die cutting, this is the base plate, really thin. And then that's one, and then two number twos, just like that. I'm gonna set that aside. And here we go with this. And there we are, we'll throw those pieces away and put that back. There's all kinds of neat little things in here. It, you can stamp the house with the two levels and it could be a house or a store. And it's neat and it cuts out the windows. There's greenery, there's a bench, there's an awning. I love that awning, I didn't use it. There's some more greenery and a light post and a pet park bench. It's a nice set. You know, it reminds me of a little bit of that farm set that was so popular and during celebration because it has a lot of pieces, but it's sort of fun to use. Anyway, that's that. Oh, well, now I lost that. Here it is. There it is. Okay. Um, now we're going to put these pieces on here, and then we're going to be. It's going to be done. It's a pretty easy card, really. We're going to pop that up with dimensionals. I'm going to bring in some one dimensional on each because they're quite small and or take your pick tool pick it off I have my little this is my metal dish for my dies I have different sizes but you can get these like at Harbor Freight they're very 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 inexpensive that's what I put my dies on so I don't lose them okay we're gonna put our um, our pot of flowers on right here on the edge of this little shop with a house with the apartment above it and then this is going to be the, um, the, the chalkboard that is outside of the, outside of the, the little business. Okay, let's put some dimensional, not dimensional, so let's put some um, ombre matte decorative dots. These are Calypso, Olive, Coastal Cabana, and Knight of Navy. So we're gonna use one of these. These are really cool. They are, they're ombre, that means that they go from light to dark, or dark to light, like that. And we're gonna put some in there. We're gonna put sort of a, a medium shade right here. I'm gonna put another one right there. And there we have it. And our card, our first card is finished. Now that was pretty easy for a fun fold. It's all about easy fun folds for me. Using this fabulous designer paper, here is the other one. It is, now you could definitely do more with this. Hey Andy, good to see you this morning. Which house do you like better, the arts and crafts store? Or that this looks like it could be like a books little cafe with apartments above. Um, they're identical really, so. Um, if you wanted, you could just cut a back a back piece on there. This one, I put the little chairs. You can sit and talk. Okay, that's the first card. Let's um, jump into the next one. Let's see. And this one is just a simple card. This one is just a... I love this black... I mean, I loved the... Um, the bookstore. I love to read. I read every day. Anyway, and I used to be a seventh and eighth grade uh, reading teacher and language arts, but I love to read and um, I love that bookstore. So anyway, I thought we could make a card using that. Hey, Carla, thank you very much. She said cute cards. We got everything. I've got everything cut out already. So we're going to put this together. I just thought this was a fun design. It says good luck. And then it could be, I think, for a graduation or something like that, or a new job or whatever. Or it could be a library or something like that. Um, nothing hard about this card. We just have to make sure we do things in the right order, okay? So we're going to take our pieces out. I've got a simple black mat. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter, just like that. And then we have a... Um, 
the, the man, this is like a sidewalk in Paris, or like cobblestones almost, three and three fours by five. And then we have a black mat that's three and a, I'll put that there, three and a fourth by four and a fourth. And then this white goes over it like that. And that's for our design, three by four. And then I just cut some little pieces that are uh, the sidewalks for decoration, okay? And they're just little bits and pieces. I just made it up, sort of, you know. There it is. So if you want to take a, a screenshot, and then the inside I did a regular three and three-fourths by five. That's the inside. So go ahead and take a screenshot if you'd like, or you can just wait until later when I post things. Um, this, and where, here's my envelope that goes with it again, with all the shops on it. Okay, let's assemble this. Let's start with our inside piece. We're gonna do that first, and we're gonna put this three and three fourths inch strip right along the side. It was actually a leftover piece. That's why I did this. So when I cut a strip, then it was, I like to use every little piece, and it's fun to decorate the inside, of course. I'm just gonna line that up like that, and we're gonna do, um, we're going to stamp this all in black, black memento ink. And you know, you always want to keep your ink upside down when you store the memento ink. It's a, it's a felt pad, it's just a little different. So we're going to put that, we're going to put the books on the, like this on the corner. Whoop, I didn't bring my little mat in. I don't, I am really particular about that. If you've ever been in one of my classes, it just doesn't stamp very well if you don't do that. Okay, and then we're gonna do what? We're gonna do our house, our bookstore right there on this three, on this piece and three by four. And we're going to do, um, on this one I did good luck. I'm not going to do good luck on this one. I'm gonna do let's get together. So I'm gonna put this, I'm actually going to just sort of put my shop right there, just hold it in place, and I'm going to put it like that. There, there we go. And I think that is all the stamping we have to do, not a lot. Um, let's see. I have, there's a really nice wish you were here too, um, but we're not gonna use that one today. So let's put this, um, let's see, this is the sidewalk. This cobblestone is going to be the sidewalk. I just cut a half inch strip by four. And we'll put a little adhesive on that. I don't think we need our piercing mat anymore. We're done stamping. I cut, oh, I didn't cut it exactly right. Uh, it's okay, it's always nice to cut off from the back. You get a really good edge sometimes. Otherwise, if you might be too short. Okay, and um, let's see, let's set that aside. Oh, let's just put it right on our black mat at this point. So we're gonna put it right there and whenever it doesn't start, you can use your thumb, but I like to use my silicone mat. I always keep that next to me. So this doesn't look right. This looks like I didn't cut something right. Hmm. Looks like an awfully big mat to me. Anyway, it's all right, it won't make any difference. Okay, let's put, we'll set that aside and we're gonna build on that in a minute. Okay, here's our black base and we're gonna put our inside in there. Just like that. And there we are, we'll take this off. Now, before I, I actually put this side, this background piece in, I love that, that gray on there. We're gonna put some ribbon around and I don't wanna forget that. So let me get my scotch tape out and I'm going to, you could actually put a piece of white around that, uh, around this too. That would be a little bit more stable, but I, I don't know, I sort of liked it without. I usually put a, a little tiny mat, so I'm gonna just, you could use your you can use your seal plus on this, or you can use scotch tape. 
but it's, it's, you get a little tighter. Instead of wrapping it around and tying in a knot or a bow, if you do it this way, you get a nice, tight, taut um, line like that. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna actually put that right on my card. I think I'm getting toward the bottom of my stamping seal. And there we go, just like that. Hey, Lynette, good to see you this morning. And Kelly, oh, I'm, I'm so happy to see so many of you. Remember to share the video if you don't mind. Now, I was going to tie a knot, but I think this time I'm just going to put a bow on. I'm going to glue dot it on there. This is the, the black and white gingham. Uh, ribbon. I'm going to wait until I get the hoses on, okay? So let's put this on next. This is our piece. And, hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut that down with my trimmer. Somehow I, I don't either. I cut one of them wrong. I don't know which one, but um, I must have cut the white too small. But I'm going to just trim this off a little bit. I, just a hair. Hopefully it won't get it too small. Okay, wait. Just a tad bit more. It's always a little dangerous when you're slicing. I can barely, I'm, I don't know if I'm in the camera or not. There we go. Okay, that's better, I think, yeah. Okay, get all these little scraps out of here to my little handy dandy trash can next to me. Okay, now that's much better, I think. And we're going to put, we're just going to keep everything flat. I think postage, is it going up soon? I think it is. Um, and we're going to keep it flat because we're going to pop up all of our elements. Okay, there we go. And hey, Donna, good to see you this morning. Okay, let's put our little bookstore or library on. I want to ground it on top of that sidewalk like that. So we're going to pop this up and I am going to pop it up with my dimensionals, as you know, if you've been watching me several times, I love these foam adhesive sheets. I don't know, you get uh, six of these and they're, they're so, and you just make dimensionals any size you want. So here's my little dish of dimensionals. And I just keep this right next to me and I'm going to use some of these for my library. You could, I, I could do that, okay. Put it on like that. And I think I'm just going to use a little bit of a, a little tiny strip right here. So you can just cut them like that. They're so handy, especially it's hard to pick things up and unless you have, there we go. I like to use my take your pick tool for small dimensionals, but these I just take off with my fingernails. I'm just going to center that, popping that up. And then we're going to put in our little greenery. So we're going to put, oh, I think we can put a bow right there with some, some blue dots. We'll get our blue dots in. And oh, my light, sorry about that. I didn't realize it was right in your way. Um, I'm going to put that glue dot right, right there. Let's see ones maybe. I like to use two. You don't have to, but I, I I like to be extra, have it extra tight. There we go. And now let's see, we're gonna put, we're gonna take our, this is my cutting, my ribbon scissors. I'm gonna just cut that into uh, nice points like that. And then we have our, um, let's see, we're gonna put some flowers on here. We've got these We've got some cut already. We've got a couple bushes. And um, let's see what else. I, here's another store too. This looks could, like it could be a clothing store or a dry cleaning store. That was sort of a cute one too. That was the other one I was thinking about doing. Okay, let's bring in our little dish of goodies. Um, we're definitely gonna use those. But I think I have another pop that I, 
cut out. I just fussy cut that one. And we're going to bring in that and another little billboard, a little chalkboard like that. We could, I, we could add that. I don't know. I think it's a little bit, it's probably, it's granny apple green and that's what it said, but I probably, a different green, a darker garden green probably would have been better, I think, because that's what this is, it's garden green. I think we'll leave that off. And the, the bench, hmm, I don't know. I think the bench is a little bit too much, so we're just going to leave, do, do it the same. I'm going to put um, some dimensionals. I'm going to keep this one flat, like this. I'm just going to set it right there on the sidewalk. And then I'm going to pop up this small one like this with a tiny, a tiny little dimensional. I'm going to actually cut it, actually. That's what, that's what these are. It's great to, I have many ones too, but I'm going to, I don't know, they're, they're harder to dig out. Okay, so we're going to do that and a regular dimensional for the uh, billboard thing. And then we can take these off and put them on our card. Yeah. So here's our little chalkboard in front of the store and then another pot of flowers. We're going to just pop that one up like that. And if we wanted, we could even put another thing of greenery. I think not. Three is good. Three is perfect. And then you can take your Wink of Stella um, and go over that greenery like that and the chalkboard and all the things that are black with the books. And now I'm going to do the like that. I'm going to put some glue on. I'm going to just zoom in for a moment. There we go. Okay. Hey, Pam. Good to see you. You're cutting out, Cindy. Thank you for telling me that. Um, I'm, I think in the replay it won't do that, but it's, if I'm cutting out, that's because my internet is not strong enough. And I'm sorry. I have, the internet people say I think it's because we have a mountain next to us. I don't know. These are the Loose Daisy embellishments. I've used up, this is my first whole set, and you get um, how many? Let's see, I can't even see how many. It looks like a gazillion. 300, 300, and mine are almost gone. So I opened up another package that I had, and uh, we're gonna put these on. We're just gonna put these on our little, with some Tombow glue. I'm just gonna put one, two, three, four, five, like that, and five little dots, and then we're going to put some of these on in the, we're going to do all yellow. I, on the other one I did, I did um, white and yellow, but we're going to do all yellow just because I can. I can do anything I want here, so they're just nice little embellishments. There we go. And those are our flowers. That's how easy that is. They're really pretty. They're tiny and very, very flat. Um, so there is our card. What do you think? Let's get together. And won't that be fun? Cute little card. Here's the other one. This is the one I used the uh, white and the yellow daisies. So this one I used a bow and that one I did not. The good luck. So those are our cards for today, and this is the envelope that goes with those. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate Oh, thank you, Munch. I appreciate that. That's so nice of you to say that. I, I appreciate it. Um, and remember, this designer series paper is all on sale. It's 15% off. Once June 30th ends... Then it's going to go back to its regular, I don't know what it is, $12.50 12 or $13.50, and it's like $10 now. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I'm, I'm glad you like those. Okay, let's turn the camera back. Close your eyes. We're going to get our camera going this way. I am sorry if the camera cuts out. 
um, I'm going to, I'll tell the, I'll tell the internet people again. Hope it wasn't too distracting for you. Um, I hope they can, I hope we can get this working a little bit better. Um, don't forget designer series paper sale, 15% off. If you've got a long list, the best thing is to join. Hey, Linda, good to see you this morning. And thank you for your nice order yesterday. I always appreciate that. And I will be sending gifts. Um, and then I also will be with free shipping tomorrow. I will be sending gifts. Uh, thank you gifts with those things too. And it might not have been just who else had internet. Did anyone else have it cutting in and out? Um, it's so interesting. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I don't, I didn't see it stopping on my end, but I could be wrong. But it, last week, apparently it did, and I didn't even see it. I just get busy stamping and talking, and sometimes it's hard to even know what's going on. But I thank you for watching. Oh, I'm glad it didn't cut out on you, Kathy. So sometimes it depends on the strength of your signal. Um, I was hoping it would do better today, so I have to report to these men all the time. These young Internet people are, oh, they look like they're 18, but they're 30 or 35, and they, they know so much about technology. Uh, only for a second, Munch said. Oh, good, good. All righty, folks, to remember, free shipping tomorrow, so make it that list. Get a little, you know, shipping is, paper is heavy. And, um, and my husband always says, don't pack the paper so heavy. Hey, Annette, good to see you. Um, you know, when he's carrying things for me, when we go to Florida, I just, oh, I pack the suitcases full of paper and stamps. The stamps aren't so heavy, but the paper is really heavy. So um, the shipping is free tomorrow on that heavy paper and all the, just stock up on white paper, envelopes, all those things. Um, there are several dyes that are on back order until like July 3rd. It's like the fishing dyes, the daisy dyes, and uh, crafting with you. Those are all back ordered until uh, like July 3rd is what I read this morning. So this lay shops and let's go shopping set, everything is available. So that's good news. And if you'd like it, please order it tomorrow. So um, and again, if you liked the video, enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. Be sure you subscribe, ring the bell. It takes me about an hour to make sure I photograph everything, get it all watermarked. I've got the directions all typed up, so I'll put that on first, and then I will do all the rest. So thank you so much, and I will see you next week, next Tuesday morning at the same time, 10 o'clock Mountain Time. And I, next Tuesday is when I see my orthopedic surgeon for the first time. I've been waiting for three weeks ever since I came home from Norway. It's so hard to get into doctors here. It is so busy. The town, the city is growing. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.